Should you use OBS Studio's 32-bit or 64-bit version? Does one perform better than the other? Why is there even both? This sounds like a super technical question, but thankfully the answer is quite simple. Let's take a look. Any high-tier live production needs a variety of scenes to show and quick, precise switching between them. The Elgato Stream Deck gives you 15 keys with customizable LCD screens behind each one. They can execute macros, application launchers, and do scene switching and source muting for OBS. And you can nest folders for more actions and unlimited power. Grab yours today via the link in the video description. I'm Evil's Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and welcome back to my OBS Studio tutorial course. I've got plenty of videos on the software linked in the course playlist in the description below. Check that if you have any questions, I've probably already answered them in multiple different videos, and check the introduction video if you want to learn how this whole course works. I will start out by saying this question really only applies to Windows in terms of the OBS installation. Windows comes in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions, though any modern computer from the last five years or so is running 64-bit only at this point. These terms, 32-bit and 64-bit, refer to the way the computer's processor, or CPU, handles information. 64-bit systems handle large amounts of operating memory more efficiently than 32-bit. As such, 32-bit installations are limited to only using about 4 gigabytes of RAM, even if more is installed in the system whereas 64-bit installations can use hundreds of gigabytes or terabytes even of RAM, depending on your operating system version. For more information, I'll refer you to a tech quickie video on that subject. For compatibility's sake, OBS Studio's installer will install both the 32-bit and the 64-bit version of the software on a 64-bit Windows system. Most users will never notice a difference or even notice which version they're running in the first place. For much of the standard functionality, either version will work about the same, and there is no performance difference between the two, or at least there shouldn't be. The only time you should worry about which version you're using is if you're running into specific compatibility issues with certain plugins or drivers. For example, some Aver Media capture cards install a 32-bit driver by default and won't work with 64-bit OBS Studio. You have to manually hunt down and install their 64-bit driver for your specific capture card, or switch to the 32-bit version of OBS. Elgato Stream Deck plugin for OBS requires the 64-bit version outright of OBS. Just period, that's all you can use. Used to, some of the core plugins, like the browser source that people used, wouldn't work with 64-bit, but as they get added to the core OBS installation, they tend to work fine with both versions. Generally speaking, unless you have a specific issue that you're trying to troubleshoot, you should run 64-bit versions of programs when available on 64-bit computers and installations. Just a good rule to run with unless you have a certain reason to do otherwise. Now, the installer may not give you shortcuts for both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of OBS. Sometimes it just gives you a general OBS Studio shortcut, and that's it. In that case, you can navigate to C, Program Files x86, OBS-Studio, bin, and then choose either the 32-bit or the 64-bit folder. Then, respective to which version folder and version you're choosing, you can click on obs32.exe or obs64.exe. Right-click, make a shortcut, and then you can pin that shortcut to your taskbar, copy it to your desktop, and so on. These shortcuts should also already be in your Windows Start menu, but not always. Like I said, this seemed like it'd be a super technical question to answer, but hopefully I made it easy slash clear enough to understand, especially since for most people it truly won't matter. And again, to learn more about the differences between 32-bit and 64-bit systems on the whole, check out the Tech Quickie video. I hope this episode of my OBS Studio tutorial course has been helpful for you. If it has, smash the like button, subscribe for more awesome tech videos and OBS course videos and things like that. If you like game streaming, come follow my Twitch channel and drop me a message in chat. I'm Evil's Vox. Happy streaming! Thanks for watching this episode of my OBS Studio tutorial course. More videos like this and a full master class are linked in the playlist in the video description. Click to learn more. Also, consider joining us on Patreon to help keep tech education free. Go to patreon.com slash to sign up.